everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I got so many comments of everyone wanting me to do an update on the bus driver video. So that's what I'm going to do today. Um, I'm going to talk about like what happened and everything that went down and try and answer all of your guys' questions. Um, comment down below if I missed anything, but let's get into it. Also guys, I'm so sorry it took me so long to take this video. Um, I just haven't had time and... Today, I guess, was the day I decided to do it. Another thing, this did happen a couple years ago, so I don't remember a whole lot of what had happened. I just kind of remember, like, the basics and obviously me recording it. So, just to clarify that. Okay, so I got a lot of questions about what was going on in the video and what had happened. So, this kid that rode my bus, he was being, like, very aggressive and the bus driver got on the intercom and told him to stop and he was like punching kids like swearing doing all sorts of stuff and the bus driver told him to stop and he didn't so the bus driver pulled over and that's when I started recording was when the bus driver walked back and he covered up his face because he was I don't know I'm not sure why but he covered up his face and he was hiding so that's why the bus driver put his hands on him because he was trying to like get him to reveal his face. So as he was um, like trying to get his face out, that's when the kid flipped him off. And that's why, and then everyone oohed or whatever. And then the bus driver got up and walked away. And um, that's pretty much what happened that day. Um, the next day I didn't see the kid on the bus. So he wasn't in my grade, he was actually a grade below me. And I asked a few people that were in his grade, like, if he had seen him around. And I don't think... Or, but they told me no. And so I kind of just assumed that he switched schools or his parents took him out of school for it. I know he got kicked off the bus for sure. I just never saw him at school again. So yeah, I hope that answers a lot of your guys' questions. Um, I know he was definitely suspended off the bus. I just don't know about the school because he wasn't in my grade, so I didn't. Another question I got asked a lot was what grade this take took place in, and I'm pretty sure I was in 7th grade or 8th grade, and he was a grade below me. Um, I'm a junior now, so I'm not really sure when this all happened, but yeah. Another question that I saw a lot was if I knew his parents and i do not he actually lives in a different neighborhood than i do but yeah i hope that answers your question another thing people were wondering about is like snitching um it wasn't like a snitch or anything like that the bus driver saw what was happening and he told him to stop several times and he didn't and that's why he got up out of his seat and came and addressed the situation um, a lot of you didn't believe that he did flip him off, and he actually did. That's why he grabbed his hand and put it down. Um, I'm not really sure what more proof I need, but yeah. The bus driver, um, he was a great guy. He never would harm anybody or do anything wrong. If those of you who were concerned about the kid, um, he didn't hurt him. He didn't do anything like that. He was a great bus driver, a very kind good person. Anyways, I hope I answered all of your guys' questions and concerns. Um, thank you guys so much again for watching my videos. It means so much to me, and I hope you guys have a great day.